Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, many of you have seen that uh, Russia has unveiled all of these black images of the people of the Bible, of the one who the world calls Jesus, and there are literally people, white people, having a meltdown over this. Now, I'm going to share with you some video clips of their responses. They have varying responses. Um, many of them are very receptive of the information and say that they already knew this, right? But some of them are literally having a meltdown. They can't take it. They can't stand it. As you see the caption on the screen here, this woman actually says, uh, Putin, uh, black Jesus nuke. She's calling it a nuke. And then it also says, Putin pulls out an old dusty black Jesus, okay? So she's one of the ones who can't receive the information. She's not receiving it well at all. There are others who go around the world and back again with information to try to disprove it. And then there are those who just say, hey, it is what it is. So anyway, take a listen at these video clips. And of course, you know, I will be right back. Recently, uh, President Putin unveiled things they have from their archives, they say a thousand years in their archives and they showed that Sayyidina Isa salam, to be dark skinned and images that are associated with the, the people of Sayyidina Isa salam, dark skinned. And from what we taught from Sayyidina Muhammad salam, to Sayyidina Musa salam, was very dark skinned. 70,000 Prophets of Allah now these ulama are finally admitting out of 124,000, 70,000 dark skinned Prophets. Means with Islam lies the truth and all others they put a deception what we call kufr. That to know a truth and to deceive a people and to make a certain race of people as if they're more important than others. How do I say this? Uh, the entire Bible is about black people. Um, not only was Jesus black, but every character in the Bible seems to be black too. Yeah, Zephaniah and Jeremiah and Jebediah, those, those all aren't white people names, okay? Um, and Jesus wasn't some tan, partially melanated Middle Eastern person either. I'm talking straight up black dude, okay? Even in the book of Revelation, when you get the vision of Daniel, he's describing someone with feet like burnt brass and white woolly hair, and we've got the deep running water voice with the the red eyes and uh, you guys he's black it, the jewish people are black people like kanye was right and those people yelling at the park dressed in purple about black people being the real hebrew israelites they're right okay like anytime you see the word hebrew or israelite or jew in the bible in your mind you got to replace that with black person so the whole Bible is going to make a lot more sense to you once you start reading it like that. But um, you need to let this uh, get settled in your heart now before you get up there. So, um, I mean, they were literally whipping him on his way to get crucified, you guys. Crucifixion was a punishment, like, for slaves back then. The, all and, and gladiators. And all the gladiators were black, too. Did you know that? Like... You guys, he was sold for 30 pieces of silver. That was the maximum amount of money that a slave could be sold for. Oh, just coincidence? Um, uh, above his cross, it says I-N-R-I. They were like mocking him. They were saying 
he it was it says the king of the, this is the king of the Jews. They're saying like here's the king of the black people. Look what we did to him. Why does the KKK burn crosses, you guys? The racist KKK. It it's just the black people rejoice. You are God's chosen people. Like I mean, those are some big shoes to fill, but be honored. Like feel good about that. Like how cool. Anyway, see you later. Jesus was black. All right, so I just saw what Vladimir Putin just dropped. I'm pretty new to religion, so I've been looking at things. I always thought he was black. I really did. So I told my buddy who has been in religion his entire life, super Christian, and he was like, Oh yeah, you know, he was always kind of more black than white. And I don't need money anymore, so we'll see. If you're pretty new to religion, you probably should keep your mouth shut on things that you don't know nothing about. Because what's ironic is how those individuals, the African descent, will sit there and say, we can't trust nothing that comes out of the white man's mouth, and yet Vladimir Putin, somebody they don't even know, a white man, comes out and says, oh, we have the secret that we've been hiding from everybody that the Messiah is black. And they bought it real quick. When all the Hebrew texts say a different story, there's a Genesis 10 and there's a First Chronicles for a reason. You probably should go study it and make sure you fully understand what you're preaching before you even come on here and say, oh, they just came out with something saying this person is that. No, man, that's not how this works. You're going based by word of mouth, which the Bible tells you clearly not to do. And it also, this is a rollout of the Antichrist. They're getting you ready for the Antichrist. He said, if they say they seen him here or they seen him there, believe them not. If they say he's in the desert or in a secret chamber, believe them not. And Vladimir Putin comes out and says, oh, he's this. And they believed it real quick. That's how the whole world's going to be deceived. It's pretty sad to watch, actually. But no. It's all right there in Genesis 10. All you have to do is study. It's all you have to do. Not go based off a of word of mouth. Shalom. You have to be an exemplary type of stupid to believe that Jesus of Nazareth, Christ the King, was a black African Nubian man, a sub-Saharan African man. Let's go back to 10,000 BCE. Anatolian farmer DNA. Here's the modern distribution, but Anatolian farmer DNA is coming from Anatolia here, but it was also in the Levant. If you're completely lacking any anthropological evidence or genetic research, and you just go on dogma from the internet, then sure, you could claim that anybody at all times was black. All of these white people in history were black. Arab people and Persian people were black. The Neo-Assyrians were black. The Hittites were black, but they weren't. Nazarene was Galilean and spoke Aramaic. Here's a person who speaks Aramaic. Does this person look Sub-Saharan African to you? This is Thutmose III, the ruler of Egypt who helped conquer the Levant. His lineage, including the Amenhoteps and then Akhenaten, do not look Sub-Saharan African. They are not related to the Western Africans who make up most of America's African-American population. The Egyptian people are related to the people who ruled Egypt. There are also some European rulers, but that's not here nor there. All those icons that Putin is revealing would be more accurate if they were all portraying Romans. It would be more likely that Christ would see a bunch of Romans in his lifetime than he would see a bunch of West African people that look like modern African Americans. It wouldn't make sense seeing as the Levant was consistently populated by European people and people who resembled like Egyptian and Middle Eastern people. So when I was taking Russian in college, my professor was from a family who had been evicted from Russia because they were basically tied in with the Tsar at the time. And so they were living in the United States. And he told me about the politics that they shared. He made two interesting predictions to me back in the early 80s. The first prediction was that software engineers would be the new aristocracy in the country. The second prediction he made was that at some point, the United States would be more like Russia and Russia would be more like the United States. And that in this country, we would have a racial civil war. Now, with this announcement timed the way it is, while I think it's great, and I think it's cool what, what Putin is doing because, you know, hey, being inclusive is awesome. 
but it also makes me wonder if this guy knew something that I none of us really know. Psychological warfare. You assume he has no benefit of saying this. There's way more going on than you and I know. I know that all of the religions and all of the governments of the world are one. But not a good unity. An evil unity like we saw with COVID, March of 2020. This coming from a guy who has been known to persecute quote-unquote Christians in his country. I don't trust him. And currently, I don't speak Russian. Well, well, well. You know, there's a lot of Arabic people and Palestinian people. A lot of people over there with blue eyes and reddish-brown hair. I don't... I don't know where they got it from over there in the Middle East. I'm sure it was some kind of gene. Just like being black and just like being white, it has to do with your genes, color of your eyes. I'm sure we could find out. But Putin and dusting off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic, that is one heck of a thing. Why are we just finding out? Did I think Jesus was blonde and blue-eyed? I didn't really care. I do care about my wig, though. My hair's looking... Oh, it's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin, you drew the race card. Now what you gonna do with it? You got all these black people excited that you have a picture of a black Jesus, you're saying black. To me, sir, it just looks like a dark Jesus. Because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Was it coal? What was it? Anyway, Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're going to nuke us, aren't you? You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. Does it matter what color Jesus is? Is this going to change what what he does for us after we've been worshiping him? I don't worship a picture, never have. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin? What do you think you're doing to Joe? Hurting his feelings? No, I did not vote for Joe. Anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. I mean, come on now. Because y'all been really upset for years, huh? I hope, I hope this helps you. Just like when I voted for Obama because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks so they could stop being so racist against white people because they think the white people invented slavery when actually it was the black. Anyway, I don't want to go there. But Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card and I want to know why. What's going on, y'all? So Vladimir Putin, he went, uh, he was at a press conference and whatnot, and he released a bunch of images of a bunch of black um, biblical people, even a black Jesus. So let me get y'all's uh, thoughts on it. It's tripping about the video that I'm posting, but just look at this picture right here. And look at this one. Let's see, you see the nose. It has a big nose. So, you know, not, I'm not being racist, man. I'm just saying, man, you know, I'm just talking about features. And then, I mean, you see that? That one looks kind of like European style. I'm not going to lie. And then this one right here looks like it is Jesus right here. And um, I don't know. Now, obviously, I can't give you a for sure answer and tell you, oh, yes, this is Jesus, yada, yada, yada. But one thing that I can say is, as a Muslim, we believe that Moses was a black man. And Jesus, we believe Jesus was a black man, too. I mean... When you look at, even when you read certain Bible verses, when it talks about um, the feet of Jesus Christ were bronze, what does that tell you? So me personally, I have no idea where the hell this person came from. This is not Jesus. This is just a white man with a beard. 
And one thing I love about Islam is that um, there's no images of anybody. You don't go and make images of prophets. You don't go and make images of Muhammad. You don't go and make images of Jesus. And you don't make images of nobody. Because if you do that, we're having the same problem we're having right now. Even a painting can't 100% accurately predict what, or even tell future generations, this is what that person looked like. Even though the paintings might be detailed, this isn't exactly what the person looked like. So my whole thing is, I've always known that Jesus was, was uh, colored. I always knew uh, Moses was colored. I mean, the whole message of Jesus was destroyed by Paul when he told the Jews not to obey the Old Testament no more. But Jesus said to obey the Old Testament laws. And whoever tells you not to, they're an enemy. Well, what do y'all think about this, man? Y'all comment down below. Do y'all think Jesus is white or do y'all think he was colored? Y'all comment down below. Catch y'all next episode. A rato. Higher nation that they now serve black Jesus. Well, young lady. That's part of one of the reasons why I've been ostracized by so many people in my life. Because I've known that for years. I mean, first you have to look at where Jesus came from. It's all dark skin tone people over there anyway, pretty much. Okay? I've known for years, since I can remember honestly, that Jesus was not a Caucasian. That Jesus was a darker skin toned person. I've known that for years and I've never had a problem understanding and believing that. Okay. <laughs> it's funny though. There's been people like me out there for years saying that very thing and they're discredited and they're, they're ostracized and, and they want to, uh, people like, oh no, we got to shut that one up. But the minute a world leader steps on the stage and says it, oh my God, it's front page news. I don't care. I'm glad it's getting put out there because it's the truth. And I've known it since as long as I can remember. I've just known that. You know, and I mean, we're all pretty much just a cesspool of races anymore anyway, but I'm glad to know that other people are finally waking up to that truth. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Keep smiling, everyone. Entire nation that they now serve black Jesus. I'm very happy that the truth is finally out, but knowing Russians and Vladimir Putin, I can see that there's he's going to gain a political upper hand in this because they're creating new currency with, I think it's South Africa. So it's not just that. It's not a religious there is a gain, a huge monetary financial gain in his statement. But nevertheless, I am very happy that the truth, even under this kind of a sauce, so to speak, it's coming out and we all are here to celebrate it. So you have seen all of the testimonies. There were a lot of mixed responses. Uh, there were some white people who literally had a meltdown, like the woman in the middle that you see on the screen right here. Uh, she says, Putin pulls out an old dusty black Jesus. Okay, uh, she's trying to throw a little bit of comedy in there, but there's nothing funny. The truth is what it is. And of course, she likens this to be the black Jesus nuke. Okay, now some of them, actually already knew the information and are very accepting of it, right? Uh, some of them are okay with it because they know it is what it is. The truth is what it is, whether you like it or not. But then you had those who wanted to pull out all of their uh, quote unquote scholarly proof that uh, Yahusha, the one who the world calls Jesus, was not black. That's what they wanted to try to 
um, in part to those who were listening to their response, but they failed. They just failed, period. Uh, we have been uh, bombarded with information about uh, the people of the Bible, uh, the one who the world calls Jesus, God, even the first people on the planet. We've been bombarded with information uh, to make it seem as though uh, the white images are correct. But historically speaking, um, anyone with common sense knows that the first people on the planet were black, uh, knows that the people of the Bible were black, given the region of the world, and not just that, many um, other identifying markers, many prophecies, uh, the location of many of the, the events of the Bible. Uh, the so-called Middle East uh, was the creation of Europeans also to further separate people from the truth. But um, anyway, this truth is coming out fast. And of course, you have some that are accepting, but a lot of white people are having a meltdown. They can't take it. This is too much information for them. Uh, they have lived with the lie for so long that they cannot handle the truth. Now, I want to keep you all in remembrance of what the Bible said about the Most High himself, the one who the world calls God. Now, he said that he was going to send a strong delusion so that people can believe a lie because they have not a love for the truth, but pleasure in unrighteousness. This is why he said he was going to send or allow that strong delusion to take hold of their minds. So right now there are a lot of people deluded, right? And it is something that the Most High sent to them. He allowed them to just wallow in their own desires, turn them over to their own minds. He sent them a strong delusion so that they can have the freedom to believe their lie because they can't handle the truth, right? And these are gonna be the same people that are gonna to come to him in that day and say, Lord, Lord, haven't we done all of these things in your name and in your name cast out devils? And he is going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. And with that, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.